Welcome to episode one of Android Dev 101. Uh, as you can see, I'm a pretty big fanboy of Android. Got a Windows 7 <laughs> theme. I'll try to find the details for that and post them um, in the blog later on. First, we're going to create our first project. Uh, it's going to be a simple men menu tutorial, but let's call it the SMS project. That's going to be um, what we're going to make in the end. Okay, we got Eclipse open and uh, running. We're gonna have to probably run a configuration in a second. Yeah, uh, can already see some problems here, but let's start uh, naming everything. Uh, create a name for our project. Uh, as you see, some things are blanked out here because we don't have the correct settings for the Android SDK. Uh, that's why it's not giving us a target or anything like that. So let's cancel out of that. Uh, we're gonna have to go into preferences. Android and here we have to actually select the folder where the Android SDK is located um, so we when we go in and select that we're gonna see that it's gonna give us after apply it gives us uh, all the targets that we have download, downloaded from from Google so we're gonna do this project for Android 2.2 and that's gonna be our, our target um, for this project so We'll select that in the options and exit out. Now we'll start a new project again. Obviously, filling in the the name. Um, you know, we're going to select the target. Well, like I said, 2.2 and um, preferences and other names and everything. Okay, we got our project running, and we've opened our first Android project. So if you made this far, um, congratulations. Sorry, my clips running a little slow. It starts off with some errors. This is once Eclipse finishes compiling and finding all the libraries, you should disappear. And here's our activity. This is the main meat of the Android development. So we're gonna get into this um, on later episodes a little more. Today we're just gonna do a quick tutorial on how to make some buttons for um, you know your start menu for whatever application you're running uh, we're gonna start the the emulator I always run um, from clean because I can't get the last load launch to, to work it keeps crashing on me uh, and we're gonna look at the XML um, your XML is kind of a base where your application will start and you can you know change things from there but it's sort of a, a base layout for where to start and that's how we're gonna create our menu so we open it up. Um, it takes a second to load. This is the new uh, GUI interface that they've um, u initialized in the in the SDK, the ADT for Android development. It actually gives you a lot more options. It's a little more convenient to use. I'm waiting for it takes a little longer for it to load though. Uh, there's two main ways to do it. There's also the XML, which you can edit manually to give your your XML. Um, whatever format you want uh, so here we go the emulator starting up and oop, there we go so this is the GUI editor for the XML as you can see it's a very basic drag and drop uh, system very easy to use um, it's more or less uh, WYSIWYG you know what what you see here you can actually through the options change to whatever phone you want um, you know size screen uh, in nature like that so that you can try to format it to exactly be more WYSIWYG to be what you see is what you get and then you drag and drop what elements you want on there and then you can edit them later so for our menu let's let's do a two button menu in a later lesson we'll do something with those buttons so first I'm searching around because I'm also not so used to the uh, new format of the GUI editor I want to center the buttons uh, that wasn't correct direction horizontal I want to there we go okay and I'm gonna want to change the size a little bit too um, we're gonna need to open the properties or you as you see you see you can edit through the right click but let's just open a properties view because it's a little more convenient to set it that way so we'll open a properties view and drag it to the side uh, and not seeing any values properties and no values uh, 
This is an interesting puzzle that they give you when you first open the properties view. Why Eclipse has this default? I'm not sure. Um, it actually makes the properties such a large size that you can't see the values. So you gotta stretch a little more out, play around. And there we go, there's the values. Okay, so that's what we wanted. Now we're gonna edit them, fast forward a little, to uh, the exact size and margins and everything that um, I wanted for these buttons. This is a lot like designing a website. You know, it's kind of like writing your CSS for those that you know use CSS out there. You know, you can just play around and make um, through the the pixels uh, whatever size you want. Be be careful. Uh, the first few tries, I forgot that the number has to be right next to the the pixel notation. Otherwise, it's going to create these. Um, it's not going to use the pixel as your your quantity. Uh, so just you know do the number and then right afterwards pixel without a space so I'm playing around with it we're gonna fast forward a little bit go three times speed because just boring watching me play here I'm gonna go into the XML uh, because I know I wanna copy some properties so I, I like doing one property per line and I'm gonna copy from the first button to the second button the properties I wanted uh, sometimes it's more convenient to use the XML so you know that's why I go in and back and forth uh, get the buttons kind of how I want them and then uh, finally get them evened out that's how I wanted them now we're gonna run it through the emulator and uh, we'll see our finished product two buttons they're not gonna do anything yet um, we're gonna get into that in the next episode but uh, a menu with two buttons and that's how it's running on our emulator